We close tonight on the life of a complex Canadian hero. Steve Fogno was the ultimate survivor. He achieved national fame and became addicted to the attention that ultimately turned on him. He died suddenly this weekend, and tonight, as CTV's BC Bureau Chief Melanie Nagy reports, despite a difficult past, he's remembered as a man much loved. Steve Fogno's story is a complicated one. He was once called a Canadian hero. It was great, sir. <laughs> he was also a man who struggled in the shadow of that title. So I'm just going day by day right now. Last week, Fonio was in Metro Vancouver for routine medical appointments. I could hear him breathing really strange. His longtime girlfriend believes he may have had a seizure. She says paramedics couldn't revive him. I want people to remember him as because he had such a big heart and everything he ever did, he did because he loved people. Fonio, who was named after his beloved father, lost a leg to cancer as a child. A life-changing experience that eventually led him to embark on a cross-country marathon which raised millions for cancer research. In doing so, he completed the journey Terry Fox was unable to finish. By the time he got to Thunder Bay, it was worldwide. You know, it's, it was amazing. He was also made an officer of the Order of Canada in 1985 at age 19. He was so young when he did this. I don't even think that he realizes what it did to him. In the following years, Fonio's life began to fray and fracture. There were drugs, criminal charges and jail time, which led to the termination of his Order of Canada in 2009. I did nothing but hurt myself, ruin my reputation. Fonio was also brutally attacked and stabbed during a home invasion in 2015. I feel that I got bad hand of cards. The ups and downs of his life were documented by Canadian filmmaker Alan Zweig. I just want people to know that he never stopped trying to make his life better. In recent years, Fonio was living a quiet life in southwestern BC. His family says before he died at age 56, he was finally happy. Melanie Nagy, CTV News, Vancouver.